My name is Dr. Rick Upchurch, and I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on adding video to PowerPoints. You can see on the screen before you a PowerPoint presentation that I have set up, and I'm going to add video to that in three different fashions. So I will choose the first method by adding video from a file that I have on my computer. I rip this file from YouTube. You can get video from any sources that you want and download them to your computer, or perhaps you've created videos of your own, something like I'm doing right now. Uh, whatever you choose to do, you can create and then insert into your, into your PowerPoint presentation. Note here, there is an insert video link in this spot. I'm going to click on that. And it's going to say, from a file. Yeah, I want to choose from a file. I'll browse. I happen to have it in a file folder called Videos. And I'm going to click that and insert. What not to do in a speech. And I may want to resize it a little bit. And then I may want to add the title up here. What not to do in All right. Okay, so there's that. We're going to come back and review that. We're going to add another slide right now. Now we're going to add video again. This is the easy way to do it. It's just simply clicking this link. But we can also go up here at the top and click Insert. And we can go over to Video here and choose the drop down. Online Video or Video on my C. I'm going to choose Online Video. It takes me to roughly the same area, same kind of Dropbox. I'm going to go to YouTube and I'm going to type in uh, this 10, let's say, 10 things not to do, do in college speech and hit search. Uh, this is the one I think I'm looking for. I choose that and I hit insert and now you can see this looks a little bit different. I'm going to again uh, make it a little bit larger, maybe center it a little bit on the screen and I'm going to put here 10 things not to do in college. Alright, and then I'm going to come back over here, I'm going to insert a new slide. I'm going to go back up here, or we'll just use a video here, insert video. And this time I'm going to use the embed code. Now, I don't have an embed code, so I'm going to go back over to YouTube. Let's see. So to do that, I'll have to come into YouTube. Let me pull that over here real quickly so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to find a uh, what not to do in speech Let's find a yeah, let's see, short one. Here we go. Two minutes and 29 seconds. Don't know what it is. All right, stop there. Examples of a bad presentation. Note down here. Um, I want to hit share and I want to scroll down and I want to click on the embed and it's already highlighted. I'm going to hit control C to copy that and then I'm going to come back over here and I'm going to paste in control V and hit enter or hit the arrow I guess. There it goes. This takes a little bit longer that way. Again, I'm going to do this. Bad examples in speech. All right. And then I will come down here and put in conclusion. And type in whatever. All right. So now let's take a quick look at the slideshow. 
and see what it looks like. All right. Inserting video. Let's go to the first one. And there's a play bar. I hit play. And so it's playing in the space that was set up. Okay, I'm going to talk about soccer. This is my favorite sport. It is so fun. All right, let's go to the next one. We're going to click on it. Come back. There's the play thing. Yeah. Here are 10 things not to do in college speech. Tip number one, don't write your speech in the wrong language. All right, that's a good tip. Don't write your speech in the wrong language. Now we'll go to the last one, and it also has a play bar in the middle. Very similar concept, then, as you see, between the one that we put in from YouTube Live. So these are linked videos as opposed to the first one. And then we'll put play. Examples of a bad presentation. All right. So let me come down here to conclusions. Next slide. And in fact, I'm going to hit escape and come back here. Uh, let me come. Let me just re share this with you. You've now embedded video in in three different ways. It's a pretty simple process to embed the video to get it there, so it'll show. The problem is, if you don't have a good internet connection, the last two options are going to be problematic. And so, if you are at all suspicious that you will not have a good internet connection, one of the things you may want to do is to download the video from whatever source you're looking at. And there are several different products that will do that, free products. Uh, free YouTube Downloader, the name literally, Free YouTube Downloader, you can search for that. Uh, or keep vid that's another one will allow you to download YouTube videos onto your computer so that you can have them put all of your presentation and the video file on a flash drive to take into the classroom and show it that way whether you have power, whether you have internet or not the video is going to run that's an important that's an important consideration depending on whether you will or will not I'm going to come up here to file and I'm going to hit save Let's see. And of course, I'm going to choose a drive. And I can put it on a flash drive. It doesn't matter where I put it. In. So I'm just going to open and put in this temp file for right now. And down here at the bottom where it says PowerPoint presentation, I can do that. Um, I can also save it as a variety of other things that will show in different ways. You may want to experiment with some of these, but but all of them do something a little bit different, so it's something to keep in mind. That's something for another presentation anyway. But we've looked at inserting videos. We hit save, and now if I save this, um, if I were to save the presentation and this speech onto a flash drive, they would both be able to show, and it would pull and show, and should work fine that way. So keep that in mind. If you have a good internet connection, use the links. If you don't think you're going to have a good internet connection, don't use the links. Download the video, insert it into the presentation, and you should be good to go. All right, that's all there is to it. Thank you very much, and I uh, hope this was helpful.